and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Free American Empire, Fascist USA. And we are still trying to conquer the world, and this is episode 15. We started in 1936, and we've already done 10 years. I'm sorry, this is 16. Pure insanity. Uh, I did a lot of changes in between videos. As you see, the screens have been cut back. I increased my production. I altered my marine divisions. I altered the uh, mechanized motorized infantry division into a mechanized division. And I gave it some heavy tanks and some light tanks. So it will be interesting. My marines, all my I put all my marines into a single collection of forces and they're in small groups because we found out early on about how you can't stack them they don't work as effectively during their invasions I added more Marines because their uh, combat width was only eight I added more battalions and I added support battalions yes it increased their weight but I don't care and if you look at my marine divisions now, their actual combat strength is only at 10%. So I multiplied their combat ability by tenfold. Let's get this rolling. I've been talking long enough. And Ecuador capitulated. I wasn't expecting that. Way to go, George. Did I start against Bolivia? Yes, I did. Good deal. Okay, George. Where are you? You should be right there. And you are. There's no one left over there. Ah. I'm going to give you a front. Right in the middle of the Brazilian effort. Let's make it down here. And I'm going to give you orders to go straight there. When you get there, make it happen, son. I also definitely increased production of divisional supplies. What the hell they call it? Support equipment, because that's the main thing holding us back down. I went from a surplus to a 10,000 deficit. Oh, really? So, I don't have to declare war against you? Okay. Why aren't you confident in your ability to defeat them, Bradley? You've had all that time to prepare. And why aren't your guys moving? Why in the hell are you just shuffling your damn divisions? What in the hell are you doing? this front push 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 mush get going quit messing around she's this is why it's Sick of that crap. Well, hell, that didn't work, did it?
I have no idea what in the hell Bradley's doing. Well, that's, that is actually great news. Just take them out. Don't mess around with the borders. Jeez. Eisenhower, you are a pain in my ass. I have no idea what in the holy hell you're thinking. And your orders are simple. Retake Alaska. Okay, we got everything done over here. We are working on that. We really do need strategic bombers because we cannot deliver our nukes without them. like Fallout 4. We've lost Alaska. We have to reconquer it. Although it's not to the Chinese. Why in the holy hell does he concentrate 19 divisions there? Why... I have no idea what in the holy hell Bradley is doing. Is he, is he so, no. I was going to say, is he so old he's about ready to die? Actually, Bradley lived until the, like the 70s or the 80s. So did move around. All of my uh, MPs. So I only got three left there. The rest were deployed. AI drives me mad. I'm telling you, mad. Let's make a perfect strategy to take over the world, give it to the AI, and watch them screw it the hell up. Our Navy is kicking ass. 
even though we have had an entire sub fleet destroyed overall we are doing quite well and as much as the Soviet Union outnumbers us Take out La Paz and quit my face. That's not going to be enough to win the war, but... I got another victory point somewhere down here. That they will just turn into their capital. What the hell is up with Bradley? He's a six now. He's an engineer and a mountaineer. He's learning a little bit of everything, but he's not doing a damn thing. All right. How in the hell do I got four armies stationed there? What is my infrastructure at? Alright, that could be part of my problem. Move that up to the top. Start working on that. Five should not affect me adversely. There it is, Santa Cruz. Matt Clark has arrived. But I don't have the infrastructure to actually support him. I've already got a bunch of armies down there working. No. There we go. You are done. What? Why are you just sitting there? I know I gave you orders. Go join him. Leave it right there. Let's find out. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted, but hey. think I was going there. And the final one, right next to it, the airfield. That's easy. Lower echelon support, an air doctrine. Keep on going down there. Okay, boys. What are you doing to me? Okay, that's good.
Why in the hell are you sending troops there? Just wipe them the hell out. is taking some losses. That's not the way the land doctrine is supposed to work, Brad. 46, let's get the next level of uh, night vision. Why in the holy hell are you going over there? That just doesn't make any damn sense. It's got a bad idea. Go right there. Maintenance Company 4. Oh, hell. Bolivia is done. Done, done. All right. Bradley. New orders. Take out Paraguay. What in the hell are you doing, dog? There we go. I shouldn't need to declare war against Paraguay. I think they're already communist. Yep, they are communist. But they're not in a faction. So I will have to declare war against them. George, we're going to have to expand your line. I think we're suffering from extreme infrastructure issues. Put those two up to the top. Where are they? Is that it? There's one. There's the other. We are destroying their convoys in mass. Cool beans right there. 600. That's damage, probably. Let's increase it. I can't increase it. That figures. Airfields build quickly, and this battle is going slowly. I think I did. No, 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 go away. I got jet tech. Bomber, 1950 before the next one. I researched that, researched that, researched that. What we need is the patent. Modern armor. We're going to start building modern, modern armor divisions. Okay, that's. That's jets and. Uh, I guess I didn't click properly. Look at that. 
fire. Something's happening in the background. Aha. How big is that field? Oh, that's the one I'm started at work on. Subs are doing awesome work. Let's go ahead and how many we got? Two hundred there. Where'd that airfield go? Oh yeah. Now we should start noticing a difference. <clears throat> Don't I wish. Look at this. We got every possible communist flag you can imagine over here. And I wish I was kidding, <clears throat> but I am not. All right, Ike, how are you doing? Damn, they sent reinforcements up here to try to hold on to Alaska. More of every possible communist state you can think of. What's going to be interesting is once I hit Paraguay, it'll open up another way that I can hit Brazil. And yes, there's another reason why I had to start increasing the infrastructure, which I don't think... Nine to ten, four to ten. I guess they are working on it. Somewhere. In this mess. I'm still scrolling. Amazonas. All right, you should be up at the top. We got our B-17s, finally, 10 years late. That's just aggravating. Start working on our P-38s 10 years late. It's almost 47. Time to start declaring on Paraguay.
you need a job. I'm gonna give you an interesting job. Not yet. A turkey? It is. Did I accept volunteers from Turkey? I guess I did. Holy shit, we have cut them off without a port. That's beautiful. to actually work on that port ourselves. Where'd it go? Am I doing it? There we go. First one. Oh, what the hell, we'll move both of them up top. That's just weird. The other one disappeared. Just fighting against Paraguay. How is our Marines recouping? Nicely. In fact, I'm willing to start sending some of these guys to do their plans even though they have suffered and their units are now green. Okay, and with that, we're done for the day. I need to take a break from this. This is, game's going to drive me nuts. Anyways, thank you much, guys. I really do appreciate all of you. Be sure to leave your comments down below, your orders, your observations, the good, the bad, the ugly. I can handle it all. Thank you very much. And until I see you all again next time, bye-bye.